All right, here we are, guys, back for hole number eight. Now, I'm going to go backbone Quasar. Um, this is, you know, something I'm very familiar with from the Golden Shot. Um, one of the things that you'll see on the backbone is it's just a little bit limited with the guide. Um, but we shouldn't need too much. So what I try to do is I try to stick between one and a half and two backspin. Uh, it kind of helps me gauge how it's going to run out when I do that. So since it's into a headwind, I'm going to maybe use one and a half. And um, also, you know, I believe I'm towards, you know, maybe 80% club here. So let me just go ahead and somewhere up here, uh, 1.7. As I mentioned, I can kind of predict this, and you can see that's what I'm doing here, is I'm just trying to kind of put that ball guide just a little bit short like that, and because I expect it to roll out. I know I know how it rolls out on this hole. So 1.7 rings, so that's what you're going to see me move. And let's see if I can't get this going towards the hole here and give it a potential chance. And as I mentioned, you know, I know kind of how it runs out, and it looks like I actually made it. So, um, you know, I, what I use is the ball guide, and I, I kind of set it, I, I, it's hard to say, like six or seven grids short of the hole. And then I just try to focus on putting it to that spot. And it helps me with limited ball guide be able to predict how much is going to roll out. And you can see that I was able to easily pick up the ace by being able to, you know, gauge where one and a half backspin, you know, I, that's why I always kind of use that number. Um, so I can just kind of consistently play the guide like that and just let it roll in, uh, you know, and kind of run out towards the hole. So good luck with this hole, guys. As you can see, straightforward, easy opportunity for you. So hopefully you find that helpful and I will catch you guys on nine coming up.